Are you starting out a business right now? If you are, it can be massively intimidating and really nervous when you're getting that business off the ground, but you also need a really good accountant on side for you and your business. So in the first meeting with your accountant, this is what you should expect. Our goal is to help small business owners exactly like you. So please click the bell and subscribe to be notified every time we produce our best pieces of content, but more so so we can get our message out there to other business owners exactly like you. Walking into your first meeting with your accountant can feel like a maze. What should you ask for? Who's good? Who's not good? Ugh. So follow my video and I'll explain all the things you, sh you should expect in the first meeting with your new accountant. Your accountant is there is to really understand your goals and your situation. What is your plan going forward? And it's okay if you haven't got one, you can form one. And if it's a bit fuzzy, it's okay, we can make it clearer. And if you've got one that's absolutely nailed, good on you. But your accountant should really understand what you want. And I'll give you an example. We've got a book, 75 Ways to Pay Less Tax. And it's on our website now, if you wanted to download. And they have got some really cool tactical advice in there. All of them are good, otherwise they wouldn't be there. And they are more relevant for what business stage you're at. So if you're a startup, you're gonna be looking at basically investing money in your company to help it grow and build. And that could be in assets, that could be team, that could be in marketing. You may not wanna be doing big pension payments, uh, which are there to save tax, because you're at a stage of where you're looking at growth. So make sure when you've got any decision and any action, it gets to your goal and also the stage that your business is at. I would prepare documents and, and a list of questions before you come in there. Don't be intimidated of sitting in front of an accountant. They are there to help you. So if you've got a load of questions that you need to ask, list them and reel them off one, one by one in the meeting. I applaud anyone that does that when they're sitting in with a meeting with me for the first time. And then that way you can really get a feel for how your accountant communicates with you. You may like their communication, you may want to tweak it, or you may absolutely hate it because it's really easy to walk into a meeting where you're a bit overwhelmed and you may forget something. So if you've got a list of questions that you can just ask and make sure that you do so it's complete, I think this is all the better. Be open, be honest, and have a collaborative relationship between you both because ultimately the accountant is there to do the absolute best for you. Now, when I'm sitting there looking at clients, I'll always look for that sort of glazed look where I sort of, they don't quite understand that. And that may be you, and it doesn't mean you're stupid, it doesn't mean anything, it just means that I haven't delivered it in the right way. So what you wanna do on its basic form, if you don't understand something, just say. That gives the other person a chance to re-explain it so it can be cemented in there and you are completely clear on your answer. An accountant will be able to help you with contacts, introductions, maybe even software that could help get your business there a lot quicker. So it's quite easy for us to go and test software or do a service that's absolute rubbish. But if you can get a recommendation from your accountant that's been there and done it themselves or with, and or with their clients, uh, then this will get you a lot there loads quicker and potentially stop you walking over landmines, which will slow you down and cost you money. Do not, under any circumstances, be intimidated, ever. The accountant is there to help you. They are there to support you. Yes, okay, there should be some level of respect. I think that's what all of us should do in the world as humans, but never, ever, ever be intimidated sitting in front of an accountant. If you feel like that, you are sitting in front of the wrong one. Discuss the services that they, they provide. Make sure these are relevant, one, to the stage your business at, and two, it can then help you accelerate. A classic one for this could be bookkeeping. Bookkeeping is a good way to save money. I totally applaud that. And it also helps small business owners really understand their, their accounting, which is fundamental if you're gonna be successful. Um, but on the flip side of it, you may wanna outsource your bookkeeping straight away. You concentrate on the things that you're really, really good at and help you make more money. So by outsourcing the bookkeeping allows you to get speed on where you're getting to for your business goal. Agree on communication forms. We all like information in very different ways. Some people like to see pictures, some people like to see graphs, some people like to talk through things, some people like audio, and some people like written language. So make sure that when you've got what you agree with your accountant is you are gonna be communicated in the style that is best for you. Now for me personally, I prefer talking all day long rather than long, massive essays of emails. But other people from my team who, who love 
detail and they're very technical, really enjoy long form emails. There is no right, there is no wrong answer for this. It's just making sure that you get the information that is best for you rather than switching off because you are completely bored. If something doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel right. I'm a big fan of going with your gut feeling. It tells you a lot and helps you accelerate loads in life and in business. Now, if you wanna see more about red flags and things that don't feel wrong, have a look at my video here. And this is, the, I've, this is all about red flags when you're sitting in front of an accountant. I really hope it helps. Now, I hope this video has been really informative to you, but if you've got any questions or anything that's come up, feel free to jump on a discovery call with me below. I'll happy on board take any of your questions, get to understand you a bit, and I promise there'll be no pushy sales pitch. And if you're looking to save tax, please download our book, which is 70 plus ways to pay less tax. It's a download on our website, and it's completely free to you to download whenever you decide.